Now, a new investigation by the Mail on Sunday has revealed that eco-activists just stop oil. Remember them, those fun people in the orange T-shirts. Uh, they're planning to occupy MPs' homes as part of a campaign of disruption ahead of the next general election. Joining me right now to discuss this is climate campaigner Nathan McGovern. Welcome back to the studio. Also, Charlie Rowley is still here. Nathan, now, look, we've already seen... Uh, people's uh, MPs' homes. We've, we've had MPs like Mike Freer, uh, who's been attacked by you know, Palestinian activists and threatened, uh, and uh, he has uh, chosen to basically give up being an MP. We saw uh, a couple of days ago uh, Tobias Elwood. Again, uh, he, people uh, stood outside a very unpleasant protest, again, on the issue of, of Gaza um, outside his home. We have seen eco-activist Greenpeace climbing on top of Rishi Sunak's Yorkshire constituency home. I thought it was extraordinary that the Prime Minister's home didn't have any police protection to prevent that from happening. It took hours for the police to arrive, even. Um, this is talking about not just protests outside MPs' homes, which is, I think, bad enough in itself, but people entering, occupying MPs' homes. Does any cause justify that, Nathan? Well, to be fair to Just Stop Oil and the Mail on Sunday, obviously you don't want the Mail on Sunday do and blow it up. I don't think they're actually going to, you know, break into Keir Starmer's house while he's having his cornflakes in the morning. But what this is really speaking to, I think, is just people just are not happy with the way politics in this country Not is people. Going, people it's... you speak to who you agree with. I didn't ask you that. I asked you whether that was... It was, it was just... Break, break into someone's house... So how okay? So going into someone's house at all would be unjustified. You're saying don't do it while he's there having breakfast with his kids. Break but if he's not there, like personal personal property, you know, whilst they are there in particular. What about when they're not is... there? You still, I mean, last time I looked, when I'm not in my home, I still own it. Yeah, absolutely. So they're not. And, you, you don't know, think you don't I... think you don't think the eco cause, the, the climate change cause, you don't think that justifies that, or do you? No, no, I, I don't think it does. And I don't think it would be very effective either. I think people would get scared. They probably wouldn't be happy about it. But just on Oh, wait a minute. So level. you'd be opposed to it because you think no, no, actually no, I, it I, might I, be bad for the court. No, no, I said it wouldn't be bad than on top of that. On it's top just of that. not effective. What, what is acceptable? Protests outside MPs' homes? Outside? I'd say that, that's fine as long as people are non-violent, as long as they're peaceful. As How as... do people know that, though? That's the difficulty, isn't it? How do we know that people are non-violent? If they've gone and they've shed... And people don't just turn up. They don't, like, get coach loads. I mean, I don't know what you do. Horse and wagon <laughs> if you're an eco-activist and, God forbid, to get on a coach. But, 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 you know, you're sharing someone's personal address somewhere that's in your WhatsApp system or online or whatever, so people know where an MP lives personally, where their families live, where their children live, turning up outside... You're saying, oh, we shouldn't go inside, but turning up outside, incredibly intimidating and scary for families. Is it? Do, yeah, do, yeah, yeah. So, I, do you think? Do, do you support do you think it if when, I, organize, if I organize those people to sit outside your home? Do I do that to people? Do I what? Do you support it when the journalists from the Sun go and do that to people? You know that Mail on Sunday article that released the address. Journalists, of people journalists actually, have, there are very strict rules about whether we can or cannot uh, go on, you know, knock on someone's doors. And if someone, you know, you, you could be, you can, you can face quite serious disciplinary action for that. I've knocked on many a door. So there's a difference between someone as a journalist with a purpose to, you know, expose a story, knocking on someone's door, asking questions, being told to go away and then having to go away now, which you didn't have to do certainly years ago. And I, I support that people should have privacy. That's not the same as people targeting an MP outside or inside their home because you don't like their views. What purpose does that serve? What is the purpose of someone going to an MP's home, whether inside or outside? Are you saying you got, are you gonna, you're going to suddenly persuade them to change their mind? Perhaps you could. You know, that's the really? point of democracy, is that we elect people in constituencies because we believe in what they say. Mm -hmm. And if we believed in what they said they were going to do and then they don't do it, I think, as citizens, we've got every right to say to them, well, hang on a second, this isn't what we voted for, this isn't Well, I, we I didn't want. vote to get poorer as a result of net zero policies. I didn't support this policy. If I've got the right to go and just sort of harangue an MP outside their home... Yeah, if you want to go and have that protest, have that protest at an MP's house, as long as you're doing it peacefully, as long as you're doing it non violently Again, how do Democracy they know that? Built how do, and again, like, there's, there's, look, there's peaceful and there's illegal. Those things are not necessarily always, you know, you know they could be different things. We, we've, got, we've got pictures, you know, end fossil fuels now, protests outside Parliament, you know. You, you know, outside Parliament, we accept there have to be protests outside Parliament. People can go on marches. Uh, you, can, you can write your MP. You can go to a constituency meeting. Uh, you, can, you, you can do lots of different things. 
why take it any further? Because I don't think you're going to change anybody's mind by turning up at their home where they and their children and their husband or wife lives. That's not going to persuade anybody. So the purpose of that is and can only be to intimidate. Why, and that why, is uh, not Julia, democracy. Julia, why don't you think it would convince someone if you did that and you had a pleasant conversation with them, perhaps? But you can have I, that I conversation don't, don't anywhere that's... else. You can have it in the constituency office. You can have it at a, at, at a town hall meeting. At a, at a, why? I, I, my view is the more you green activists talk, the more you're going to not convince people by your arguments because they're not based on fact. They're based on nonsense and eco-cultism and religious zealotry. So, so actually, I don't think you talking to anyone's going to persuade them anymore. But I also think people have a right to go to their homes and know that they're not going to be bothered by people who disagree with them. Yeah, inside people's homes. Inside, that's property, not in the garden. Oh, that is part of their property, to be fair, isn't it, Julia? What but about their having kids? A, having a... What about their kids having to walk through a crowd of people to get to school to go and meet their friends? You don't well, think that? I, would be I think most most people that went to a state school do that every day. You have to walk through a crowd of people to get to school. But if sorry, what? if people have you to have go at them, you had crowds of no. people outside your home, did you, when you went to school? If people are having a go at their kids, absolutely, that's wrong. Absolutely, that's wrong. But you don't need to have a go. That. The fact that they are there, the fact that you're walking out saying, bye, Mum, bye, Dad, and you're having to walk through a crowd of people. You don't draw a line there? You do that every day when you walk through the middle you of don't, London. Not people... Charlie Rowley, your face. Mm. Come on. Yeah, I mean, I'm just... Um, uh, this is ridiculous. Um, uh, <laughs> Julia, you hit the nail on the head perfectly. You know, MPs are public figures. They're there to be uh, 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 approached by the public, absolutely. They, they self-publish. But you can turn up to their place of work. It's called Parliament, it's yeah. called a constituency office, it's called a town hall meeting. Crossing the line and going to an MP's home for intimidation, I think, is totally wrong. I think it's backward looking. I think people should uh, rethink right. this. Right. I would let you have a final say, but we're out of time. No, I really appreciate you joining us. That's Nathan McGovern, Charlie Rowley joining us the whole show. Thank you very much. But we're going to go and hang out outside Nathan's <laughs> house now.